I've seen churches growing in numbers but not helping the kingdom of God. Because I believe the church is here to advance and build the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. But would you, is it possible that many pastors in the church itself are beginning to cry out for church call and yet we forget that the church is not for church call, the church is for the advancement of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, but if the church is not growing, then it cannot help advance the kingdom of God. I like to see my church growing and then it affects my nation. It transforms my nation. If my church is not growing, it cannot help to change and transform my nation. Because the Bible is telling us that we are the soul and the light of the world. Amen. So for, for, for me, there is a need for the church to grow so that the church can help advance the kingdom purposes here on earth. Amen. Hold on. So let's go, let's go to the direct needs right. of the church today and the direct needs of the church today is to really bring back to the path of righteousness and grow. Amen. Let me illustrate what the church is experiencing today. Okay. Most of the church today are always trouble. No money, no members. Uh, I think it's other. They are always in trouble, is it? Amen. Uh, I hope if we are always fighting, we are growing. But the more we fight, the more we don't grow. See? <laughs> Amen. And then we find ourselves instead of fighting the devil, we fighting among ourselves. That's right. That's why we always grow ourselves. Amen. The next problem of the church is the word main maintenance. It's the second problem. The church is in trouble and the church is always on the mood of maintenance. It means the church is stagnant or probably they are not growing. If you are a pastor and you are pastoring a church, if your church is 200 and then after a year is still 200, after the second year is still 200, after the fourth year is still 200, and then on the fifth year you grow to... What's this? Okay, thank you. I thought it's a candy. <laughs> Can I have another cup of water, please? So, let me go back. If the church is constantly on the level of stagnancy or maintenance happens to it, it will never help to advance the kingdom. You will see the deterioration of a nation when the church is not actively involved in bringing the gospel the nation is always in trouble. Do you believe that? So, if you look at the life of many churches today who experience trouble and they are on the level of maintaining the church, you will always find this. They always do something seems right, but it's wrong. It's always like that. In Tagalog, parang laging gumagawa ng parang tama, pero mali. And because they don't like to do that things that seems wrong that it is right. We have the habit of doing things that seems right that is wrong. You observe churches today. They thought they are doing it right, but the truth is it's wrong. And then they don't like to do things that seems wrong, but it's right. <laughs> yeah, you observe that. For example, most pastors in this category who are always normal, they always they always have programs. I think this is worse. You want to be more <laughs> clear, but it's become more. <laughs> who, who got this idea? It seems right, but it's wrong. It seems right, but it's wrong. It seems right. Okay, then, bro. Okay, then, okay, then. Okay. 
Most churches are focusing that their church will always have program or probably they have always activities or they have a lot of events and the pastor always preach on that event and program they always teach on that program and event and they always lecture Uh, this is the common activities or daily activities of the church. In a way, can I remember that? <coughs> this, did your pastor preach? Yes. Did your pastor teach and lecture? Yes. Do you have church program? Yes. Do you have activities? Yes. Do you have good events? Yes. That's why the church don't grow. <laughs> Sometimes we that. That's why. There are times that we do something right, but it's bad. Wrong. wrong. And sometimes we don't like to do those things that seem wrong, but it is bad. So, do you see something wrong with that? Of course, if you say, no, that's why. Right. That's why I'm telling you, it seems right, but I can tell you it's wrong. Is it wrong to have a problem? No. 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 Is it wrong there is a church activities? No. Is it wrong to preach? No. And then we do that, right? How many of you do that? And then the church don't grow. <laughs> All churches is a preaching church. Amen. Yep. Amen. All churches have activities, event. Yes. Yes. Right? Now, question again. Why it doesn't grow? It's not reaching out. It's not reaching out. No, when we reach out, we preach. What do you do in reaching out? You preach, you teach, you lecture. Amen. And then, this is the worst part. Every time you do program activities and preaching, people always... They attend. Yes. Oh, the pastor <laughs> become more excited because people are attending. Amen. And then after attending, they listen. Amen. And most of all, they take notes. <laughs> That's why the church don't grow. <laughs> Probably you're asking, what, what Pastor Orwell is doing? Yeah, I'm trying to help you fully understand that this is what's happening in the church right now. We keep on preaching, teaching, doing lecture. We put a lot of problems with events because the people are willing to come. The people are willing to listen. The people are willing to, do, to take notes. That's why the pastor, I wish nobody attend so that the pastor will change. <laughs> <laughs> but the people keep attending. So the pastor keep on preaching and teaching and lecturing. Right, right. Yeah. I wish no one attend and then the pastor will realize why right. the people are not coming, what's happening here. <laughs> but because they keep on attending, they listen and they take notes, the pastor thinks he's doing right. That's why the church don't grow. Let me continue, okay? Now, not because the people attend and listen, it means they are involved. Amen. Not because they attend and they take notes, it means that they are doing it. Be not listeners, but do it on the word. Amen. When was the last time you did tithing and still nobody gave their tithes? You see, it seems right, but it's wrong. Amen. When was the last time you preached about evangelism but nobody evangelized? But the pastor, I have done my best. That's right, that's right. But you still, yeah. you think that is best? Do you think that's best? No, no result and still you think you are doing your best? Mm -hmm. How come you said I've done my best and there's no result? When there is no result, you have done your worst. <laughs> no pastor will admit that I'm doing worse. Why? Because people, when they do what they are teaching, they say, I've done my part. Yeah, your part is wrong. It seems right, but it's wrong. Are you listening? They don't, they take notes, but they are not transformed. They are just informed. Are you listening? Did all your people know what's the meaning of evangelism? 
Oh yes. Do they evangelize? Oh no. Are you listening? Do they know the meaning of planting seeds so that they could harvest? Oh yes. Do they plant? No. Why? Because now imagine you have program, people are there, you have activities, they are there, you have events, they are there. When they go there, they listen, they don't take notes. But after that, they, will never, they don't want to be involved. They want to do what they hear and they don't want to change from what they are hearing. What kind of church do you have now? And majority of the church today are well informed. Are you listening? Yes. Well attended, <laughs> but they are all disobedient. <laughs> are you listening? Sometimes it's so hard to admit that. But let me explain further. Now, do this for one year, what will happen? What will happen? If you do that in one year, okay, and then you do it again for two years. The worst part, you do it for three years until five years. Now this time, it's seven years. They attend, they listen, they take notes. They don't want to be part of it. They don't do it and they don't want to change. Hmm. Now it's ten years. The same. You know what will happen? This will happen. It will produce culture. Is this the problem of the church? Yes. So we begin to develop a culture. Let's go to church. Let's, li let's listen to the pastor. But let us not do it. They're not telling it. They just leave it. Why? It's a culture. Amen. Is this happening? Yes. Yes, it is. Now, because they just do that, now, praise the Lord, you are successful on producing church members. Is there church members in the Bible? Yes, sir. And then you will see, no, there's no church members. Only disciples were considered in the New Testament, isn't it? But this pastor, in spite of their preaching and teaching and lecture, would pull up event and program activities in the church. They don't pose on people, they pose on program. Today, they produce church members. Are you listening? Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Now, when you produce members, what do you expect? Members is the producers of all the problems in the church. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Right? Yep. Is that right? Mm -hmm. You can never rely on church members. Mm -hmm. That's why in the Bible, they are not, they are not there. <laughs> God does not allow them to become part of the story. The, the, the people who are part of the stories are disciples. Right. Say amen. amen. So most pastors will begin to talk among themselves and they ask question. How many members do you have? Have you heard that? Yeah, yeah all the time. Huh? They always ask that question, how many members? Yeah. I said, wrong question.